Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So this is round 3 from uh, the Hamster Liga tournament and I'm up uh, against uh, Rido and his greenskins for the first game and I'm playing as Norska. So this is quite a difficult game for me, I don't know, I, I haven't checked if it's actually like a hard uh, matchup for the Norskan, but every time I play as Norska against the greenskins I seem to uh, always goddamn lose for some reason. And uh, yeah, it's quite quite hard for me, to be honest. Alright, anyway, we got uh, two units and uh, another two units of Norskan Ice Wolves on the flanks, because uh, I wanted to compete against any Wolf Riders or Spiders, and quite frankly, I don't know how they're gonna do against them, they might do well, but I'm not so sure. For our front line, we got five units of Marauders being backed by uh, one, two, three Berserker units, and one is actually the Brutes of the Hound, as we can see over here quite one of the best units uh, in the Norskan roster, they can chop down any lightly armored target like uh, indefinitely and with that unbreakable uh, effect they have they will hold to that place for eternity. Uh, for our cream over here we got the most of savagery along with uh, a couple more skin wolves and um, this is gonna be all the uh, anti lars we're gonna bring. We also got the Salmon Sorcerer of Metal with just final transmutation and the Plague of Wrath. Is he on foot? No, he's on horse. And we also got Wolfric over here with the Hunter of Champions, the uh, Fight or Die and also the Seafang Boat. So for Rido's forces as you can see we have uh, a couple of Goblin Wolf uh, Riders up in the front and quite frankly uh, Norska is somewhat lightly armored, you don't need uh, anything else other than these guys. And uh, as you can see they're already doing some work against uh, my Berserkers with just a couple of shots. On the far flanks, it's uh, and one. He has got a couple of uh, spider riders just protecting. He also got two back here. His front line is composed of uh, one, two, three, four savage orc biggins, which uh, combine uh, com combined with a the wag, they can beat down both the marauders and uh, the skin wolves most likely. We got the eight pick loonies over here, which uh, are kind of invisible at the moment, so they are creating kind of a barrier right here in the middle, an unbreakable barrier, because they are unbreakable, right? Yeah, they are unbreakable. So they will last uh, forever here against marauders. If the skin wolves come in, that's uh, that's another uh, that's another thing. So for his backline, we got two units of nasty skulkers just for the smoke screen bomb in order to uh, stop anybody that's gonna try to come into the backline and harass him. And he's got a goblin spider, uh, a goblin archer unit along with the uh, rusty others. So uh, quite a formidable backline over there. For his leadership, he's got Wurzag with the effigy of the git. Here we go, foot of gork and fish of gork along with bonewood stuff and squiggy thingy. Uh, we also got two goblin big bosses, one on a wolf, one on a spider, and most likely the wolf is to uh, chase down any opponents uh, that are gonna be fleeing because it's quite fast and the. Uh, and the spider just for dueling purposes, because uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite good on um, on that spider. It applies poison, and if you combine it with the fish of Gorok, or here we go from uh, Wurzak on top of this guy, he's gonna be doing a lot of work, even though he doesn't have that great of uh, weapon strength. And I think I pretty much covered it all. Oh, there's a freaking go uh, goblin rock lobber back here, which I didn't notice. Anyway, so let's begin. <coughs> Immediately I'm gonna start getting my wolves on the flanks and I'm gonna send in the marauders first because I need to absorb all of the damage so I keep my skin wolves waiting and as soon as the front line collapses we are gonna be moving in. Uh, these marauders are heading off for the wrong direction, they're gonna get charged. Yep, I didn't get any charge bonus off which is kinda bad for me. So the skin wolves are gonna get into the front lines, they're gonna go straight through those poor goblins but that's life, that's that's the life of the goblin. At the same time, his uh, goblin uh, squad over here along with Wurzag are gonna try to get in the back to go for the same and Sorcerer, but that happened at the same time that was actually uh, ready to pull back and uh, go for another cycle charge. So, I just uh, got all of my skin walls around Wurzag over here and the goblin uh, big bosses and I'm just gonna start beating the set out of them, but the wolves have not been that, uh, they have not performed quite as I would like, like I was expecting these two wolves to easily beat down these uh, spider riders and uh, as you can see they can't. The same goes for this uh, side but well then again they have some backup but yeah, I was counting on my wolves to get into the back line because right now yes I have the upper hand because I've beaten down both of his goblin big bosses and a little bit of Wurzak. But he's got his uh, archers free shooting at me and my marauders over here just got stoned by that foot of gork. 
And uh, yeah, my skin wolves are at the disarray. Both of them have almost melted, as you can see, down to half health, down to 10% health by the pure firepower from these guys. And also the wag be being pumped and the uh, Savage Orc Biggins just doing their work. Also here we go has dropped here. So uh, yeah, these guys are up to... I can't see. There we go. Oh, it has worn off now. Yeah, whatever. So uh, yeah, the bounce of power just completely against my favor. Uh, this is like a pure disaster like I went in I got slapped in the face uh, to say the least and uh, yeah uh, immediately the battle is gonna tilt in the favor of uh, Reed over here and my Norska my poor poor Norska is gonna pay the iron price so uh, yeah uh, I haven't played this matchup quite often as I would like so I really didn't know what to bring uh, so I thought okay uh, let's try out skin wolves let's see if they work and they obviously didn't so that was one of the uh, fastest defeats, uh, as you can see over here. Now, um, I think I have another build that I uh, set up, uh, set it up after this uh, stunning defeat over here, but I can't remember it just yet. But it doesn't have skin wolves or so many wolves over here. Uh, it's got some more orders. We have some Fimir. I think uh, the mammoth is uh, quite what's needed here. And actually, instead of uh, uh, metal magic I'm bringing like fire one because uh, we need those fireballs in order to burn down uh, the enemy backline for example if I had a burning head I would have easily uh, roasted both of these units because they were standing in a straight line and uh, one problem would have gone out because these guys were doing a lot of work against the uh, unarmored skin wolves and uh, yeah we paid uh, the iron price so yeah uh, fire magic I think is a lot better you can use also fireballs to uh, snipe out Wurzak or any other and uh, what else? I mean, um, yeah, perhaps some champion marauders are what's needed here instead of berserkers because you need the seals. Like the orcs are gonna be uh, shooting you from all over the place, so uh, having some seals now that they think of it is gonna be uh, a lot better than just bringing b berserkers over here. So uh, don't mind that this was pretty much an experimental build, um, and it didn't go that well. So for Rido's forces, I really like his build, like his front line was pure solid, along with the 8 uh, pick Lonis, the buffs from Wurzag, uh, the backline uh, backup from uh, both of his outer units, the spiders completely shut off uh, the flanks, uh, I wasn't able to get on him, and uh, I was actually, and I got beaten down to shit, and uh, yeah, it didn't go well. His wolf riders also quite a nice pick over here, because as you can see, they can do a lot of work on berserkers, because they don't have any armor or anything. And this is the reason I'm saying that I think uh, Moroder champions are what's needed here instead of these guys in order to uh, to have a, at least a solid front line. Because uh, yeah, they, they just got melted like really really hard. I really like his Dublin uh, his double goblin big bosses and also Wurzag. Wurzag is the most competitive choice. I don't know what to think about the goblin rock lobber. It kind of did well, like 39 kills, plenty more than. Uh, other guys over here except the uh, big ones of course which completely nailed it combined with a wag combined with a wag they can beat down both marauders and skin wolves backing them up i'm pretty sure so uh yeah it was just a uh, good game good game rido uh i really enjoyed it even though it was a stinging defeat which uh, it tends to happen when i'm playing some matchup that uh, i'm just not quite used to um so yeah uh this was it guys so i really hope you enjoyed feel free to leave a like or a comment feel free to subscribe and also check down in the description uh, Exploding Hamster if you're German because it's a German speaking channel. So uh, yeah, feel free to go over there and just uh, give, uh, give, uh, give my regards. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.